News shooter coverage of IBC 2025 is sponsored by B&H. Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at IBC 2025 with Jimbo from Viltrox. Now, this is a brand new prototype product called Nexus. Yes. What does this do? Uh, for this one, it's the more like the autofocus adapter. We can right now we can use adapter to uh, to tilt the camera. Everything the you can uh, you, you use the autofocus lens now like the lidar, like the focus bug, like the pterodactyl, the the la similar uh, similar system, the lidar system. The first for right now, uh, right now we can use the all, everything from the camera uh, focus system. We can touch the camera screen to to find where uh, which uh, where you want focus, and uh, we can we can choose the people face and follow the face, follow the animal, follow the car. I think right now everything will be more easier. You only need to set up the motor. You don't need to set up LiDAR. You don't need to set up the, the big system. So essentially this is appealed to Sony E-mount adapter. So it's basically sort of almost tricking the camera into thinking it's got a native autofocus lens on there. So what it's doing is allowing you to do touch focus and everything you would do if you were using a, a traditional, say, autofocus lens. but instead using a manual PL lens. Yeah. And you've got different motors here attached to the adapter so you can actually control zoom, focus and iris from the camera. Yeah, we can, right now that we have a three motor, focus motor, iris motor and the zoom motor. So even though you set up the three motor in the one zoom lens, you can use the, the touch, uh, touch button for the camera. I need the camera if, if the, the camera have the, the button. Then the IRIs, you can change the IRIs more easier in the in the in the camera. Then the focus, I mean the random focus, you don't really need to check about where is your focus and are, like the old system, the like the old motor, you, you must be check where is the the follow focus. But right now everything will be going to the monitor. So I guess the whole concept behind this is speed of use and, and easy to set up as opposed to you know traditional LiDAR systems which are very fiddly and can take a while to set up. Yeah, but right now the we we already got, uh, we already got most lens in our system. Right now we have the the popular like nice like like the Voltrex, like the DZU, like Siri, and some Ari lens. So the the in the future we will set up the, all the lens in the the information in our adapter. You can use the application or Bluetooth to to just post the information in our adapter. And uh, when you set uh, when you open the camera, they will be auto calibrated for the everything. So. Uh, this is uh, very much an early prototype, but when do you expect to have this come to market and any indication of what sort of price it could be? I hope everything will be end of this year and everybody can go this like a Merry Christmas, Christmas gift. <laughs> any, any idea on sort of the sort of range of price that it may be? Uh, not right now, but I hope it's not expensive, it will be cheaper. <laughs>